Hey guys, it's Clint, the not so quiet quilter. Hi guys. There's my lovely wife. She's behind me sitting on the couch. Uh, I had an idea this morning because you know I had the other one, uh, the other cover ready, uh, planned, you know, but I got to looking out the window watching the hummingbirds. <laughs> and you know, when I looked at at the watercolor, uh, to me, I don't know what it's called. I don't know if it's an impressionist or I don't know. Whatever they, but to me, it was, it looks like you're, you know, a field of flowers. And so, uh, watching the hummingbird, it made me think, looking out, our, our windows are pane glass windows because we live in an old farmhouse. So, I got to thinking, well, that would be so neat to make a window paint as you're looking out from the inside of a window out to a field of flowers. Uh, these are the cutoffs. This isn't, no, I had the ten, the seven and a half by seven and a half. Uh, these were the cutoffs of that one. And I didn't want to cut that one up because I'll still make one out of it too. This one's got green in it, huh? So, uh, so, Honey Bunny, I'm not, my brain, I tell you, I, lately, well, with my fibro, my fibro fog. Oh, don't let him fool you. Yeah. He was that way before. Oh, I have a hard time, um, I guess, what would you say, figuring things out or kind of, you know. So, she helped me with the math and stuff, and she kind of drew a thing. Tell we scribbled a lot. Yeah, because we, we, you know, we have to get it down to a certain uh, size because, you know, I want it to fit <coughs> Sorry, on the, the Travels Notebook. So so we got to figure, and so we had all these different measurements. And so uh, the measurement we came down, uh, came up with is for the, you can't see it, but that's okay. It's not that important. Uh, the watercolor, which is your window panes, are going to be two and a half by three and a half raw. Uh, I know that's before finished. Maybe they call it unfinished. I I just wrote down raw. Uh, so before I sew, so we need two and a half by three and a half because a window pane is a rectangle, not a square. And our traveler's notebook is a ten by ten. So, uh, so these are the pieces. Let me, I actually have that one, I, sometimes I question this, uh, ruler, <clears throat> sorry guys, sinuses, you know, uh, it's windy here again, of course, uh, yeah, sometimes I, I'm not 100% sold on this tripology ruler, um, uh, I know you really have to hold your, your thing straight and to me that can be kind of a pain uh, so I don't really want to waste a lot of fabric I have found out <clears throat> right here is your first cut your first uh, you know your cut in your ruler well if you push it down and move it it butts up against the fabric so I already had that edge and I don't have to worry about trimming it so I am going to, so it's three and a half inches tall, so I need two and a half inches. So two and a half and two and a half would be five. Right, right. Yep, okay. She's not listening to me. She's reading her book. Sorry. Okay, so I know this one I don't think is going to be it might be, but I don't think it is. Uh, right at two and a half. So, we'll see real quick. Yeah, it is two and a half. So, I got three out of that one piece. But, I am going to go ahead. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, and, I'm going to cut the other three the same way. That way, I have some that I could choose from. So, yeah, so when you do the ruler, you just pull it, kind of lift up, and it butts up against your fabric like that. So, but I do like the, 
I mean, it is a convenient thing, but you do have to really concentrate on how you're doing your your angle of your rotary cutter. So, okay, I'm done with that one. <clears throat> uh, so now I have six. Obviously, I don't need six window panes, uh, but kind of want to see how we're going to do it. So, uh, I love this one. Can you guys see that one? I like that one for sure. So we'll make that one. And I still have to cut the width down, but there ain't no sense in doing that on all of them. I like this one too. <clears throat> Sorry guys. Uh, I do like that one. This one is neat. See, I think, and this is going, your window frame is white, so I have a white, I think, this one has more, maybe this, like that. I think that looks pretty good. These kind of are similar, so... And these two are totally different for the most part. And I'm okay. I think that's okay. Yep. Okay. So let's go with these. So. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Stupid allergies and sinus infection and everything. I tell you. So let me. Yeah, I do got to do it. Yeah, you guys can see, so. And we need it. So let me make sure it's straight. Looks pretty straight for the most part, except that. And that will drive me nuts right there. Uh, honey, could you please? In the kitchen is my small one. Small one. Okay, Matt. Oh. Could you grab that real quick, please, honey? <clears throat> I'm going to use, you know, my rope, my turning mat that I bought. <clears throat> it's the one I sprayed, you know, with the, 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 the rubbery stuff for your rulers. And it, oh, thank you, beautiful. You're welcome. So this is a Skyhawk. I really like it, uh, but I didn't like it when I got it. And it uh, was really slippery. And I just... So that's why I ended up spraying it with that rubbery ruler spray. So I need three and a half inches. So one, two, three and a half. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. I know I'm redundant, I guess. I just always... I have a bad habit of uh, screwing up my cutting sometimes. Okay, I think that looks good, so we'll do that. And of course, uh, I know you're not supposed to throw away your uh, good scraps, so I've been told. Not actually, I mean, this is perfect. The scraps are perfect for... Pretty good right there. Oh, yeah, I don't like doing that. Yeah, I have a hard time uh, learning things. Like new things, but truthfully, my mind's always been pretty much for locating and not too much for... Huh, babe? I can remember stuff I did 28 years ago. But... Yeah, I couldn't remember a person I met three minutes ago. So, yeah, you could. You couldn't remember their name. I couldn't remember their name, yeah. I can remember the person, but not the name. I have, I've known people for 28 years, and 20 years later, then I finally remember their name, you know. So, I'm, yeah, that's definitely my worst is. I can look at a grocery list and I guarantee I'm going to miss something on it. 
Huh, baby boy. Horrible. At, yeah, I'm always missing something. Sorry, I'm reading. She's reading the book, you know. She is. She should be talking. Well, you're talking. I really like this piece, and normally I would have cut that off because it's the raw edge. So I'm gonna square this one up. So I don't have that. I want to save that uh, really pretty flower that we got from her bouquet. I love how that one turned out. Got a bunch more poppies come up. So, kind of, we got to work Tuesday. And so we'll probably end up, hopefully, if it's not a super busy day might try to go up and see if there's any wildflowers we can get That'd be cool. yeah because we're well where we go been picking the aspen for the ink blenders is they have a lot of wildflowers right there so so the two i had left over we'll i'll use those for a flip or something so, okay, that's that part. Uh, here's this part. Now, the outside, guys, <coughs> uh, the border is still going to be this beautiful purple. We were thinking, so this would be the walls in the house. So, someone had fun. And like butterflies a lot so <laughs> but we love that color and it just goes so well so a child, <laughs> a child maybe a child at heart yeah it could be uh, so I did cut some fabric it's not square I just used a pair of shell scissors to cut it hope I brought those things back in I bet I left them in there that's all right I don't really need them so let me get as far as the measurements, I'll show you in a second. Let me straighten this up. And actually, I can use the one. Um, ruler. I hate to tell you this, baby, but I think the boys are yelling. Oh, I forgot about them. The boys went in the bedroom with Sorry. Chloe. And I just heard. I had an exciting part in my book. Oh, her and them books, I tell you guys. So, um, the, the window pane, not the window pane, the window frame is obviously going to be white. Uh, and these are going to be one inch strips raw. And then after I sew them, they should be right around four, uh, half inch. So, and so let me, I will need a few longer ones, but I don't need more than we figured it out that it should be come out it when it's all said and done with everything it should be um, seven and a half tall. seven and a half inches tall whatever it is wide I didn't worry about the line the width just because it's not that important well, it won't be, um, okay so um, now let me cut these real quick I know my edges aren't straight on this so I'm not gonna try to line them up I'm just gonna go for it so. it is howling here it was a really nice morning we ended up getting my uh, I don't know if we told you but I bought a I've been using a shop vac for my, uh, when I sand my lathe and I do the blanks. And when you're doing blanks, it is horrible that, because I don't use a normal tool. I use a router, so it throws the wood everywhere. But we ended up buying a dust collection um, uh, motor blower. So we ended up putting my finally getting the lathe 
on the bench. It's been on a card table all this time. So, uh, so we don't really need to worry about the background yet because that's really the last thing. So, uh, the way I want to do this is trying to do this in pieces. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sew this in the center like so and I'm going to sew these together so so let me I don't need there it is uh, I really I'm not going to worry about the exact uh, length of that if it's over you know I'm okay with that so let me get my glue once again I'm using my basic glue and because I don't do any um, pinning. So, and I don't really want to glue on my. So, I need. Okay. Sorry, it's been pretty. It was a hard. I mean, we did a lot. I think, didn't you say. How long was we out there, huh? Three hours. Three hours. So, uh, so, let me, so we know these two are going to put those two together. So let me, um, so I need, what, that was two and a half inches, something like that. Yeah. And, uh, I probably should. I don't know if I should show you me sewing. I probably should, but uh, I have to move my sewing machine. So, not to um, we're trying to get the table in order too. That way we can get uh, uh, just get it organized, and that way I have my own space. So this is the bottom or the middle. So these are the middle. I'll do the same thing here. Whoops. Well, I'll just use this fabric. The basic glue, it's by Roxanne and it uh, it's water soluble, uh, which is good. With us, it doesn't matter since it's the book, but whenever I do my quilt blocks and stuff, yeah, you can wash it out so it's not a big deal. So, I'm not using like a super snow white, uh, white, it's more of an off white, it's not really cream or anything, it's just maybe a little bit, uh, duller maybe would be the best way to put it. It's not the same fabric I used for the, uh, flowers, so okay that's it there uh guys i think i'm gonna go ahead and sew on the side real quick instead of trying to move that the weight of the sewing machine so much because like i've told you guys it's extremely heavy and i've been lifting crap all day uh oh i'll pause the video i gotta thread it real quick so i'll be right back Okay, guys, I went ahead and got it sewed. Um, I also pressed them because the iron's in the kitchen, so we don't really have room for it. Uh, let's see. I do need to take the edges off the... So, yeah, you guys can see that. Okay, so. Yeah, you don't smell the flowers. Gwendolyn, was it Gwendolyn? I think so, yeah. Yeah, Gwendolyn was asking about, does the house smell like flowers? No, it... No. I wish. I wish it did, too. It's actually really, I don't know, it's not noxious, per se. It's floral, but it's not like, it's like burnt flowers is kind of what it is. When you iron it, after Gwendolyn, you iron it... it smells like burnt chocolate chip cookies. That's what she says. I don't <laughs> believe that, but... You know how when the chocolate burns, it kind of has that sweet, burnt smell? That's what it smells like. It does have that sweet smell, yeah. So. Sorry, I'm trying to be as polite as uh, 
precise as I can. So, okay, that's one of them. But yeah, after you iron them, they don't smell. Um, so I don't know, but I was really excited when I did it, just because. It was just something so new, and just to see how it turned out, I was so, and then I did that cover. I loved the way the cover turned out. Just so you know, guys, this is going to be a two-parter uh, for sure, because there's no way I can get all of this done in one video. And because I really want to show you the whole process, process, not just bits and pieces of it, and so think the best thing is I'll just record it until it's done and then Shell will edit it and do whatever she magic she does so magic yeah um, now they are different remember I had I had them in a certain order but I'm not uh, apparently one of the cats last night got up on the counter and on my wool mat and pulled my iron down and everything else so now everything else has got hair on it and it's just stink cat I don't know what who it was so they're okay. they're okay thank goodness and my my yeah, iron obviously is okay and I jumped up to see what they knocked over. yeah it was she said it was pretty loud so I think they kind of look I think maybe that way uh, there's a little bit more purple here and there's a lot of purple on this one and a little bit on this one and a little bit on that one so I think that's gonna be the best so uh, let me and they're not like I said I know I'm pretty sure I told you guys not really a right or wrong way on these uh, uh, the the floral because it was just a basic white and really it's actually kind of a shimmery white I didn't um, I didn't want to use it for the the um, the window frame so I, I we have fabric on the counter since I've been doing stuff on it. so make sure that looks like maybe I might be off on my looks like maybe I'm off a little bit on my measurement so uh -oh. well see that one's not two and a half but this one is a bit somehow one shorter than the other huh that doesn't make sense so was it the one I, I oh it was the one I did white on well I can't have that I mean dang it yeah for some reason it's I wonder how I did well but that was that dang see I'm off almost I guess I could it'll be all right I'll make it work but yeah it needs to that sucks yeah seeing that I have run into that with that the ruler that um, so probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to so obviously sew this one I just want to make sure it's not it's level on the top so make sure it's right there make sure my edge so this is my edge so i'm actually going to sew it first and then i think what i'm going to do is i'll be all right i can make it work i don't want to but i would rather i was going to cut all of them down to the same width but i don't want to do that so let me do this one so make sure that they're all the same so obviously I must have chose 
I didn't choose its mate, obviously, because if all three of them would be, oh, yeah. See, that one's the same size as the other one. So, that's what happened. That, yeah, the ruler just kind of, I must have uh, held it at an angle. So, which it is what it is, right? You know, it's not dire. There's more than uh, ample room to do the seam. So, I'm not going to fret about it or whatever. I'm going to go ahead and put, try to put the purples on opposite ends of the... So, just line up your edges. That's the most important part is getting your edges. Yeah, and if you, you can't really see it, but there's a little dip in this fabric right here. So... Uh, but the center will work. So, so this one. So hope everyone's having a good Memorial Weekend. You'll see this Sunday, right? Well, yeah. Sunday and Monday, I'm sure. So. Yeah. Um, just want to thank everyone who served. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll show you what I'm going to do with it being off like that um, like I said you know it's it's not a dire emergency or anything it's something that easily can be fixed it just sucks but you know uh, that's the anal part of me I bet it's what Joe would say she's reading her book she didn't even pay no attention that's the anal part of him so okay I'll be right back okay guys I got them ironed and I pressed my seams into the center um you can see the fabric, but, you know, I'm okay with that. I don't, you know, it's okay. So, I won't really worry about it. Okay. Um, let's see how I had these laid out. I think that will work. No, that was the way I had it. Yeah. Okay. So, um, there's the one that's off. Well, this one is the one. But what I'll do is, we know that this is right. We know that one's the right. It's the smaller one that's not. So, I'm going to take that, which isn't long enough. Um, there we go. I, like I said, I didn't measure my whites. I just did it. So, okay. So, let me get my glue. My glue is having issues. It's it's almost empty. And boy, it was like a volcano. It was all over the place. You know, that's why that fire Yeah, that wasn't where I wanted it, was it? No. That's the way I was going to... Okay. Put it on the wrong side, so that's all. There we go. Okay. That's why I ha I tell you. Some days, guys. So I'm going to go ahead, even though that's not correct. I know about how much it was off. So. I'll just add it. know that one and I know my good Lord willing is a little straight see how much um, I know I'm straight right here for the most part uh, now I have to come in and here we go oh, I tell you so dang it okay
So what I'll do, when I'm sewing this, I don't want to push it too hard because I don't want the seam to go up on this if, you know, I mean, I'm off that much. So I really don't want to accidentally push this into my seam guide and it, the guide rest on this one. That means my seam would be off. So if I just take it easy and sew it this way, face up, I can make sure I don't do that. So I don't need this extra fabric. Let me cut a little bit of it off. So we had a good, like I said, we, we worked quite a bit in that, in the porch to get that done. So that was nice. It was something that needed to be done. And now I can actually, I have a, Shell bought me a, uh, a work stool that I, that's in the kitchen. And I use it um, when I'm prepping food because it's hard for me to stand so much. And, but now I can actually use it in my, when I'm sanding, it's the right height. I'm going to go start making okay. meatballs. We're going to have meatballs. You're going to go check, see if there's an egg, hon? Oh, yeah. I will. Probably better. Our chickens haven't been laying them dang eggs the last few. I'm going to threaten roast chicken for dinner. Yeah. If they don't give me an egg. Why don't you take that cleaver with you just so you can <laughs> show it to them? I will. I'll just kind of wring my hands together like I'm. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't do that. No, we we have butchered, but these I don't butcher. Well, we don't really butcher anymore, just because physically it's just it is so hard to do it. Um. So we don't butcher anymore, but it was a. Uh, I never would butcher our our hens that, you know, they're my pets, so I wouldn't butcher them. But, you know, we would buy chickens, chicks, and raise them to butcher, and that's all, that's what they, you know, were there for, is to butcher. So, but we don't do that we, anymore. It's just physically, it's so hard on a person's body when you're sick, so... So we don't do that anymore and I just you know I love my chickens I really do when I first got sick I uh, I wasn't able to walk very much so I would go out and it was in our front yard back then so I'd go out and uh, feed the chickens with, you know bread and stuff uh, to help me deal with all the pain and everything so they're my pets I just um, so I'm going to go iron this real quick and uh, get it cut and then we'll sew this piece on it so I'll be right back uh, now I just need to let me uh, trim this um, Shell read up on the colors and setting the colors and uh, they said it's I believe it was vinegar and salt Yeah, you had to let them sit for 24 hours in water. In, in water and that, that solution. But um, the other one was actually just using a hot iron. And just, I'll show you guys something that. One egg? I had a feeling at least one of the girls would lay. So, yeah, she, she got one egg. So, I, mean, I think I had one egg yesterday. <clears throat> but what I was saying is make sure uh, when I ironed it, and I don't know if it would do it with a modern iron as much, that's what happened. So that was on my iron. So when I, because this, you know, we keep this in a roll. It was like a folded thing, and that was too hard to work with, so I am, I, I actually made it into a roll, so it, it, curve so you have to iron it wet and iron it so it stays flat but that's what happened it's no big deal uh, uh the fabric you will not see it uh it's it's not 
it's it's opaque enough that you won't see it. I already looked at it, and it's the same fabric as the one that's in the the other journal. So, but yeah, it, it definitely um, bleeds a little bit. But you know that is uh, one thing. I, let me show you. Can't use my one pencil because I don't have. Um, show you a little trick. Uh, to line your things up uh, when you have something like this uh, I put a little dot there and then I do the same thing here now this is my uh, my iron pen so it actually we don't have to worry about it as so, soon as I iron it it erases it disappears and this is a fr F Frix Frixion, F-R-I-X-I-O-N, Colors. It friction, I don't know what it's pronounced. It uh, says Pilot, so, uh, and I, like I said, I have two of them, two different colors. So. so, okay, guys, now that I got my marks there, I know where I'm supposed to do my, so let me glue it real quick. So funny someone um, was saying how uh, relaxing it is watching me glue uh, so let me, there's my seams obviously you can see it uh, so I just put my seam thread pretty much right on that one and it should be Oh, pretty much straight. So, make sure it's, you know, they're off a little. And just something like that. So, let me make sure you, so, it is um, off just a little bit. And that's, um, this one kind of unraveled just a tiny bit, so it does change the way you look at it because uh, it makes you look like you're looking at the background fabric, but really you're you're not too much. I mean, so. so. I think that it looks pretty good. I think my seams are going to be pretty much right on. Um, maybe. You just, it's hard to tell sometimes when you do it, so. Sew this real quick. Yeah, we're having, uh, I think, I know, she, meatballs. She makes meatballs. She makes a big batch and then freezes them, so. But we eat them with mashed potatoes and pasta and stuff. Now, if you guys do sew with, uh, you know, a modern sewing machine and you, you pin, uh, and if you do these covers that I show you, uh, I, since I use the basting glue, it glues my folds down. Um, but if, if I uh, didn't do that, whenever I ironed, I wouldn't iron these. I would take these and spread them apart and iron it flat. That way, it would it would iron, it would sit flat uh, on the on the cover. This one isn't horrible, so that's how my seam's gonna look. It looks like it's pretty close to being right on. So let me iron this and I'll be right back. Okay, I got it ironed. I did want to show you something when I wet it. The colors did come off onto my white. So, you know, that's the thing. Uh, the centerpiece, this time I didn't wet. I just did it dry. And I'm, you know, it's kind of a bummer, but in a way, I think it's okay. I mean, you know. So, uh, this part, the, the only thing we got left, let me show you the paper. 
Okay, so we've got this section done. We don't have the edges and we don't have the tops and bottoms. Uh, the thing is with this, now um, this part right here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a sew and flip and then iron iron them onto the uh, the cover, the, the bowl material. So what I need to do is I need to go uh, iron my fusible web on this. And then I will, as soon as I get it ironed, get the paper off of it, I will measure it out, figure out about where I'm going to be, and then I'll iron it down. Then we won't have to worry about it. And then we'll start doing the sew and flip after that. So uh, let me start doing that, and I will be back in a little bit. Okay, I ironed my sticky crap on there. So... Um, I wanted to show you when I ripped the paper off, um, I had a silicone mat, um, like Shell uses when she does that, and, but I know, do notice a lot of times the, the fusible web will actually stick to it, and that's kind of a pain, uh, and, but when I ripped it off, all the stuff on the sides, uh, came off the paper, so... I have to turn those in on itself. That way I don't accidentally get my iron. It's known to happen. So I have to be really careful with that. So, Okay, now we know that we have to find the center because the center of our pain is, has to be, so let me do it. Okay, so I've got 10 inches. Um, let me grab my marker real quick. So here's five. Let me do it on this side. Kind of curled a little bit. Off just a tiny bit, but that's okay. So let me do that real quick. Yeah, Shell asked me if I wanted to do a um, bigger journal, but I, I kind of was hesitant in doing a full-size journal. I really wanted to. Um, so that's it. You know, I wanted that too. Okay, so uh, I know this isn't... Let me measure this real. Let me put this here. I'll show you why in a second, but um, I know my ruler was a tad bit off, so uh, it should have been 10 inches, and it wasn't. So let me take this and cut that. It's about an eighth of an inch longer for some reason. I don't know why. So let me take that extra bit off. That way my measurement's not all... Um, okay, yeah, that's better. So let me do the center of this now, and then I'll have my X, or my cross. You can't do an X on this one just because... Um, Because since it's a rectangle, it wouldn't work as easy. So, it's still a little bit off, so I'm going to go ahead and move it just a little bit. About that much. Okay, let me do my X. So, wait a minute, that ain't right. What happened? Did I not do the... Oh, that's why. So, for some reason, I don't know why I did that, but I was off a little bit. Must have. There we go. That's better. Make sure, but for some reason, I was off on my measurement a little bit. So, just 
fell off a little bit for some reason. So now it should be right. Should be. Let's hope it is. Right I'd say that looks pretty good. So now um, we want to make sure and center the uh, window in the, on the cross. So, pretty, um, pretty close to being right there. And it won't be perfect because, you know, when you're ironing, things get to moving a little bit. So that's the window right there. So let me go iron this on, and then we'll start the sew and flip. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Oh, sorry. Uh, I don't mean to keep saying that, but I ironed it and I got it all measured. You can see that uh, that the the erasable ink because I didn't iron the whole thing. I mean, I only had to put my iron on this and that was it. So now it's sewing flip time. So what I need is you want this to be pretty accurate as far as the width of it so let me get shell belt scissors you know it doesn't have to be perfect you know but you definitely want it close okay so let me do this one real quick You know, I, I might, if I did this again, yeah, I definitely might try to find a more opaque fabric. Uh, I mean, it's not, like, bad, I you know. But you do, you will see the seams a little bit. So, you know, I guess it's however you, you want to... Uh, now I have two long ones and these are have to go on that that one so I have a shorter one here do the same thing on this side make sure I get it to the edge of my window uh, like I said it's not uh, that's gonna be covered when you do this side so it's not extremely important you get it exactly the same size as your window but you know it'll be fine that's i'm having so much fun guys this is i just love this so much it's just i, I don't know i never thought i'd ever want to do a video you know the first one i did when she I was in bed and she was sick and I don't remember why she was sick sick I think she had the flu or yeah she actually passed out she was so sick and I just was laying in bed and I woke up and I told Chell hun I'll do the video today out of the blue because I know she I wanted, you know, I knew she wanted to get one done, uh, but I, she was so sick, she couldn't do it, so I did it. Now, so, and I said, I'm never, ever doing this again, and of course, that was, oh, who knows how many videos I've done since then, and, I'm, but I have enjoyed it. I do enjoy the fabric, you know, that's why I say I don't, not the the paper person I'd rather shell do that uh, but I do enjoy doing the, the fabric covers and 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 doing the the um, 
you know, anything that has to do with the fabric, except for the lace journals that Shell makes. You know, that's more what she would, she would be better at than I am, so. Okay. I'm doing this just so I know you guys have seen that, see me do this. Um, so let me take my seam guide off, actually. I don't think you guys really need to see me sewing it. Because um, I know you guys see me sew so often that I don't think it's like, you know, that it really is that big of a deal if you don't watch it. Um, so. so I really do want to start on the very edge of where the window is and the window frame. That way don't have a lot of so you won't see a lot of the window pane or not the window pane but the window frame that was kind of the intention was uh, when I looked out the window really you you uh, and and this isn't a full window either this is just a small uh, portion of the window you know you could do this considerably bigger and and really deck it out you know you really could it's amazing you know what you could do what you could do with this technique or you know this design so I love doing coming up with different designs and I just you know, it, I just definitely feel uh, called to do this, you know, uh, like e Liam, you know, it has inspired him watching us, you know, and here's a kid that's going to be eight, you know, and that's to me really neat, what an amazing opportunity that God has given us to, to do this, so I, I just... Yeah. Now I have to iron this first before I can do the sides. So, but you know what an amazing, just oh, just a true blessing, a true gift. Um, oh yeah, I just very excited that that we're able to do this. So. So this is going to iron that way, and obviously that one, and then we'll do the white, and then we'll move on to the border. So, I mean, it really uh, doesn't take a super long time, so I will be right back, guys. Got it ironed, guys. I know you can't see it uh, for the most part, but that's okay, because... I still got to do the edging and once I do the border that's when it's really really gonna pop so I'm not uh, you know it's gonna I think it's gonna be and you know you could do your window pane window frame a different color it doesn't have to be white I mean you just would want a contrasting color from the the background the, Right, the border, you, you know, you really do want a contrasting color um, from the border, which, look, I should, I, that's the butterfly material, so it doesn't have to be white. I have a tendency to be um, realistic in a lot of my stuff, so, you know, we have white uh, windows, so I, that's why I was... Um, I didn't even think about a different color. Huh? She, yeah, she didn't either. And and that is it. I, you know, I'm... Uh, even in my film, when I take photography, um, anything really, I, I have tends to be more of a real realistic, you and I. Dang. So, you know, it just, that's just too... Let that one dry. Uh, let me 
do this one real quick. Yeah, you could do a really eye-popping color, I think, for the window frame. And you know, this would be neat, too. Uh, instead of this flab fabric, you know, I have tons of floral fabric. I could do floral design that you're looking at, you know more detailed more than that maybe you know I don't know what they call that like I said I you know to me that'd be realistic because that's what you would look out it wouldn't be all fuzzy and at least most of it wouldn't you know probably once you got uh, farther out into the field uh, things would get blurrier so uh, you know you could do it that way don't want to do that one yet just because my mind is not thinking there we go <sighs> tell you some days my mind ain't working there we go oh guys I tell you so let me mark my quarter inch seam it's kind of hard to tell where it is um, because of that white but You know, and two, instead of putting this on directly on the interfacing, you could always do it, uh, put it on a piece of fabric and then do the interfacing. You know, you could do that. That would work. Uh, that way, you, you know, you didn't have a lot of that see-through uh, color. T or, you know, it could be backed with a different... And... You know, I don't know, I thought about that today as, as far as our base fabric, you know, because we only did white. We didn't do uh, the other colors. So, uh, you know, you could have done it on a different, different color. I was thinking that looked a little bit off, but it really isn't. So I'll have to... Okay, so this... Then it's on to the so after I do this iron this we're gonna uh, stop this video with the window panes and the window frame and then we'll go to the next video which will be the backing the inside I'm not putting a binding on this this will be uh, like the other one I'll fold it under so. did you say something I don't know, you made her laugh. oh I made her laugh I don't know what I said but you know I say it all the time but I just love Shell's laugh really do you know what a wonderful way to spend your life you know it not being negative well not as much you know but just enjoying and having fun and laughing whoops did that didn't I forgot I hadn't sewed that one down okay so now I gotta do this again hon your my tablets making noise She had a timer on this. My tablet's making noise. So what do I need to do? Done? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Start. Quit.
pause. There you go. Sorry, I had him set a timer so he can keep. Honey, it's his, still uh, making noise. Make it stop. <laughs> well, why is it doing that? Honey, I don't know, but. Done. Hit that home. There you go. That stopped it. I don't know why, but. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Make it stop. <laughs> Boy, this thing is just leaking. Let's need it. Maybe if I clear the nozzle a little quick doing that. There's just not very much in that one. So I hope my little little buddy Artie was gonna come and say hi, but he's been sleeping. He really is my little buddy, I tell you. He, yeah, he snuggled a lot. He's a sweetheart. Hi, bub. Love you. Do you want to say hi? How are you? Artie, do you want to say hi real quick before I tell him goodbye? Artie. <laughs> He's too honest. So we'll see. I don't even know if he's going to get up or not. I think he still looks tired. He'll probably lay back down and go back to sleep. He's doing better, guys. Thank you for the prayers. He still gets, you can tell he still gets lonely. Uh, and I hold him and I tell him, you know, I miss her too, sweetheart. So, you know, but we love on each other. He went right back to sleep. I guess he isn't going to tell you guys hi. Uh, okay, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here. Uh, I'm going to iron this, uh, and then in the next video, we'll start doing the background. And uh, I guess, you know, finishing it up. We'll be able to get it. I'll get everything done in the next video for sure. So uh, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you for visiting. Uh, we do appreciate it. We love you guys. Thank you for being our YouTube family, and we do, you know, we do appreciate all of you. Uh, please hit the subscribe button, and also please give it a thumbs up, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and we'll talk to you in the next video. Bye, guys.